is what it is. Well, hit me rise. The ones you collect the, the Star Wars toys is boys. When the, movie, when the boys don't like the movie, the only toys that we're running out of, for the most part, is Dorothy. You can buy a bunch of them to make an army. I think it's also funny about this. You can totally tell with the uh with the gliders and the fucking drop shit. You're like, more toys to sell, more, even more toys to sell. Like it's, it's worse than watching like GI Joe. Oh yeah, because no one's buying the last Jedi toys. Yeah, because they fucked up. Let's go get Hera. You're in terrible trouble. Huh? Ah! Out slow, but then uh, as you called it. Yeah, it so it was so predictable. As soon as like Kanan like sort of like changes his hair to save Hera, he was going down to death. And then also the whole, there's nothing but foreshadowing every five minutes. It's like all he was missing was a red shirt. Well, they killed off his wife's character in season two. It's like. Mm -hmm full-scale bombardment of the city. I don't want Thrawn to die, but you know Thrawn's gonna die. Yeah, it's kind of looking at Even when he has that noggly looking thing. I smell it. The assassin guy will kill him, and uh... Well, no, it, it was different, like, with the... It was foretold he was gonna be killed by a bunch of his peers or something like that. What? What do you see? I see your defeat. Like many arms surrounding you in a cold embrace. Yeah, it'll happen. It's been differently in the book, right? Mm. Well, yeah, that guy, that guy assassinated. Yeah. A lot of uh, Easter eggs for like Rogue One too. Critic this and you know, direct the critic something, and then fucking. And uh, Tarkin and I. Your Tie Defender program is at risk. Orson Critic has been quite persuasive about diverting the funding to his own project, Stardust. Anything less would be uncivilized.